Hey guys, <laughs> the amount of work, just welcome back to a new vlog before I start ranting, but guys, the amount of vlog, not vlog, the amount of work I've scheduled in for myself today is making me laugh. Like when I say that something is wildly hilarious, this is so funny, to the point that I had to call myself together, like just a proper sit down meeting with different versions of myself. I was like, damn, is something wrong with you? So I was supposed to do two videos this morning. I've changed it to one and I'll do another video later. And I have a couple of meetings, about three of them. <laughs> Immediately after the first video, or kind of in, in between the way it's looking now. And then I have an event somewhere in the middle. I want to go to Kiramo first. If for nothing else, just to get books. <laughs> but guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I'm actually quite excited about this particular one. So welcome guys. Let me eat my food really quickly and then get to this video that I'm about to do. And then we'll take it from there <laughs> okay so i did my makeup and i've just finished filming the video i am going to get ready i have this outfit from dye lab i've actually had this since the beginning of the year and i have not worn it yet and because karamo is kind of like an art hold on arty type of event i think i want to wear this dye lab because uh, i am actually also going out tomorrow and i'm also i don't know i think i might wear this I might wear this to this event. I don't think I'm going to be at this event for too long. I think that this will make for a good outfit to wear. So let me change into it and I'll probably see you guys at the event. I, I don't, I'm already running late for what I registered for, but um, let's see. Let's just see what is possible. I've changed into that outfit. It doesn't look bad. I'll show you guys with my phone camera. I'm just grabbing my Charlotte Tilbury small powder that I like to use to set when I go out. Setting brush and a lip gloss. So that's it. To come. Okay, so this is me. Very cash, guys. Fat slippers, handbag, the dye lab kimono. This is one of their kimonos and not their boo-boos. I'm not going to spend too long or be here for too long. So let's go. I'm excited though. Hopefully I find books. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't get a receipt, right? Like a physical, like a receipt our sizes. Okay, that's... 
Thank you. Hey guys, I am back. So, we saw the screening of this movie. It was an East African movie and it was just like about COVID and a bunch of things. So, um, let me see. It was running a bit late. So, because it was supposed to have ended by 4 30, but we were there by 4 30 and the movie had not ended. So, we had to, oh, I had to come back because I had to film another video. I told you guys earlier. But I got two books. Roving Heights had, um, they had a display. There were some other vendors that like were selling like natural hair care products and natural products and a bunch of things but i got yinka where is your husband i've seen quite a few things about this book and the cover is very beautiful who are the publishers of this narrative landscape press so i have like some books from maya angelou but i don't have anything about her poetry so this is uh maya angelou the complete poetry and at what point is this video going up yeah i don't know but i did a video on books recently i'm not sure if it's up but i also love poetry and i really love maya's writing i think that i'm going to enjoy this so yeah these are the two books that i got um the festival is on for like the next two days i'm happy that i because i really wanted to go today being a friday it ends on sunday so it goes from when did it start again i think it started on wednesday and it runs all the all the way to like sunday but weekends tend to be very busy and it's it's that time that all the people who couldn't attend a lot of things because of work they try to really attend the events that they would have lined up this weekend so yeah I will be filming like a nighttime routine video. I'm just going to start that in maybe a few hours, but yeah, I'm back. Uh, maybe I might eat a little bit. I might not. No, honestly, I don't think I can eat anything to be honest. Dinner for me this night is a salad, but I'll probably not talk about it. I'll talk about it in that nighttime routine. Okay. Good morning. Um, I brought this wig out to play again. It's actually not even morning like that. It's like 11.53 a.m. ish. I am preparing to go meet my friend Oza for brunch. And I'm just trying to lay my wig properly. I'm not doing any makeup or anything like that. Like a girl cannot be bothered. And I have quite a few people that I need to see today. And things that I need to do. This is my first weekend. Like first Saturday feeling great after I came back from the Ghana trip. So I like to use this thing here. It's called Bold Hold Liquid Gold. This is like the best thing for like laying your wigs like tempora lilele whatever the word is okay um i just like to just put the wig on first and then use a tail comb and put the product like in between my skin and the lace i found that it just stays that way you know like this and this thing dries really well, dries really quickly, like, it doesn't, um, it doesn't take too long to dry. I feel like this dries faster than got to be, which is, what is got to be called again? Is it a freezing spray? You know the crazy thing is that, guys, I was just looking for things on, to on top of my table. We shot a video yesterday, so we had to move things around on this table. So got to be is a free spray right and this dries really quickly and when i'm telling you guys that this even dries quicker one thing again i like about it is the way that the lace adheres to your skin like there's no pulling i didn't pack this funny enough for my trip to ghana and one thing that would happen is i'll use my got to be right and it will just tug at my skin like it's almost like it's pulling at that skin where it's gonna whatever guys i'm just now really beginning to enjoy wigs right and i'm just finding ways to enjoy it or enjoy them more and i'm going to share with you guys products that just help me as i find i have my baby hairs here this is always like to me this part is like eyeliner you know like it's almost like you can feel your fear i really always want to get it in one swoop but a lot of the time i'm not able to do that oh, hold on I think that is fair enough now and for this part i actually i've actually never tried using this bold with liquid gold to hold it hmm should i should i try it or should i just use my regular got to be i don't want to mess anything up okay let's try this and see guys it's actually working really great and i know that for sure that this is going to dry and set in place 
without any issues okay so i'm going to move this because i really want a nice sweep Ooh, this was even way better than bolt hold why have i been sleeping on even using this for this part guys i love this product so much i got it from an instagram vendor a while back so what i'll do is i'll just because I, I put it on something so i'll use leftover and i'll just apply on top of it to make sure that whatever is left over to make sure that it sets well okay i think that we're done with that this was so easy okay i have my baby hairs the way that i want it to be now i'm just going to go in with my hot comb and comb i haven't straightened this week in a long time and i feel like it's still flat on top okay so guys when i tell you guys that at this point this thing has dried like it has actually dried i love it so much this is not a frontal wig by the way i've already told you guys on twitter that i do not like those things as much as really for like everyday wear for everyday wear guys it is a five by five or a six by six closure for me and chrissy bales does amazing five by five six by six closure all my wigs are from chrissy bales i'm going to have her website linked in the description box and all the wigs that i wear in this particular video are also going to be linked in the description box as well like this i think that this works I don't know if I should go in with a straight line, you know. I just really want the top to be flat, flat. God. Let's just act like that didn't happen. Because the victim right now was my microphone. The microphone I used to shoot my everyday videos. I should have moved that honestly properly before I started this, but I didn't. So here we are. So I'm meeting Ozo, and then at a point today, I'm supposed to see Jola. However, Jola in her usual fashions, Jola has not replied my message I sent her since morning. Jola, jazz up! Reply me. She should reply me soon, I'm sure. Okay, I'm just, I'm putting some wax, like this is wax stick. I'm just, so that I control the flyaways that I have on top. I'm going to put some on this side as well. I'm going with the hot comb just to make sure that this place is flat, flat. Mm -hmm. I think that this looks good. I think this part looks good. No. Honestly, I think that this hair looks good at this point. Is there any other thing I need to do? I think I need to put some more edge control. Yeah, I love the way this thing just lays my lace. And it doesn't build up like really quickly. Like if I take us... I haven't washed this wig in like... I'm going to two weeks now and i've worn it quite often and one thing again i like is the fact that it doesn't build up on the lace like very quickly that you are like this is going to be the main reason why you want to actually wash your wig it's not one of those type of products so for so my hair this is my own hair here i think i want to make create a very nice swoop here like this right so that these two sides are clean i think guys that i'm done honestly let me go put on my outfit because i'm wearing a crop top that will not even be cropping okay i'm wearing a crop top a skirt and a kimono over it i think that my hair looks good guys um i'm going to put you some of my ajmal oil in lovely time yeah, the dropper is touching my skin guys no other person uses this size me please to be honest because this is oil and it's so heavy and a lot of the time like when you're in a rush waiting for the, it to actually leave the dropper and touch your skin is so long but if you're a more patient person than me then do what you gotta do i'm not going to be wearing a wristwatch i'm just going to wear my bracelet i should have actually done this before touching oil Demma, what were you thinking now it's just like going to be 10 times longer actually locking this oh god please god please god please <gasps> and i've decided that i'm going to give them a little dangle dangle today <laughs> last time i wore this was on the evening of my engagement actually it doesn't look like a daytime earring but now look it's looking too much okay guys let me change it i have uh, this b earring that I've had for a very long time, so I'm gonna wear that. Okay, 
okay and then this is a kimono that i'm going to be wearing it's from zara i'll show you guys the put together thing in the mirror but i'm just wearing flat slippers and the bag i've been carrying all week okay so let's go to the mirror i decided to throw on my these glasses last minute and obviously my engagement ring can't forget my engagement ring okay this is me my kimono Zara, crop top Zara, skirt Zara, slippers, handbag. I'm actually just realizing that I'm wearing Zara head to toe, but I like this outfit. I think it's really cute and it will work for all the places I want to go to today. Okay? Okay. as a food fair we're going to hang for like one hour or so and then i might call it a day after that because honestly i have work to do and nobody yeah i have some videos that i need to work on so that i'm not scrambling around next week but it's also getting it's looking like it's going to rain so i've given myself one hour one hour for this particular activity
guys it's like 5 p.m right now so the sun has gone down it's not that great i have dinner by seven with my friend candy but i wanted to unbox some things quickly i already showed you guys this <laughs> sorry i don't know why i hate myself this um bride's bible that ozo gave me guys like I still I am just like obsessed with the leather work that you get with this particular Bible. It's such a pretty, like beautiful Bible. And it's so crazy because she was it's actually not crazy, but it was so thoughtful because she was saying stuff like how she wanted it to look good during the bridal shoot. And I'm like, she thought of that. Like I actually teared up a little bit. She's so sweet to me. Thank you again, Ozo. I'm gonna put this away. The next thing that I have is a PR package from Pixie. Where's my scissors? Okay. PR package from Pixie. I don't think the two brands that are competing for best PR package sender to me whenever I'm vlogging is Huda Beauty and Pixie. I feel like they send me stuff like every week or every other week. So I've opened it and this is what this looks like inside. So this is one of those ones that I actually don't even need to open it to see what's inside because they've lined it up here. So it just says you're naturally gifted. There's a mascara in here, um, a CC cream for the under eye, a blush gel, sheer cheek gel. Interesting. Oof, this lip gloss looks interesting. And then the brow tamer. Oof, guys, look at the packaging. Mmm. I don't need to unbox this really because I already kind of know what's inside. I'm excited about the brow product, the mascara, all these things. But this mascara looks like it's going to be perfect for my under eye area. I don't even think that this lip gloss looks like a replacement for my NARS discontinued lip gloss that I keep using in all my videos and I keep telling you guys about. Okay, so this one is slightly darker and it has mint in it and it has like, it will give you a plumping effect, I guess. Let me look at the sheer cheek gel packaging looks like this let's see i've not used a cheek gel i've used tinted like cheek products and all of that but not a gel very very interesting just the way that this looks and it looks very pigmented and looks like something that will work even on my own skin tone it's not something for just light skinned people so thank you pixie for sending this to me like i told you guys in a recent video i want to do more makeup videos so i look forward to incorporating these okay the next thing that i have here is actually something that i ordered from amazon real quick i ordered two things i realized that i was short of one sd card and i decided to get a 256 gig sd card for my cameras and then i got this so this thing that I wear on my head, a lot of you ask me where it's from. I link it sometimes in the description box, but I think I'm going to be more diligent with linking it now. But it's a silk turban. I've told you guys that my skin, satin breaks my skin out. Anything satin breaks my skin out. So I don't use it to cover my hair because if I use satin back to back to cover my hair, for example, on a weekly basis, I'm going to have breakouts around my hairline. So I like this silk one. I've not had any issues with it whatsoever. And I bought this one from Amazon as well. But then I wanted it in the color black. So I ordered it. It's just so beautiful how the packaging of this is. I bought it from Amazon. I'm going to have it linked. So a really quick unboxing. This particular brand is called Zima Silk and they do different types of silk products, not just turbans. They also do pillowcases if you're interested. So just the different types of products that they have. But the turban is what I am after. Look at that. It looks so cute, guys. So beautiful. So this is the exact same turban that I have on now, the exact same style. It also doesn't give me a headache. The thing I like about the way this was designed is that it's very stretchy. There's a band that is not too tight at the base of your skull. So it covers your hair nicely. Silk also protects the hair while you sleep. Your hair doesn't cut, doesn't break, you know, all that good stuff. And it feels good. It's kinder to the skin than satin is. I got some presents for my friend's baby. I stopped as a banner and I got a gift bag. And I also got some tissue. I think I'm going to spray some perfume on this. I'm going to put or pack everything that I got into this bag. So, so I got her Crocs. <laughs> I'm showing you this. Oh, guys, these Crocs are so cute, okay? I got her Crocs. Look how cute these Crocs are. <laughs> They're so cute. And then I got like these, you know, the cute pins that you pin on the, you know, on the shoe, on the Crocs. 
okay i'm going to put this back and then i also got her some stuff from a vendor that her mom really likes because sometimes when i gift my friends kids i ask them what they want i don't just get them random things like i ask them what they want you know so i got these shoes they're so cute and silver and then there's this cute dress here so i'm going to put everything together in this bag really really quickly I'm going to spray this perfume it's a nice floral it's not too intense so these are the tissues that i got i'm just going to spray like legit not too intense i also like the fact that every time i pick i not like i actually hate the fact that every time i pick this particular perfume up i forget where it's from like legit and it's because the brand did not did not write the name on the bottle which is so weird it's just the name of the product itself and not the name so i'm just going to wrap this thing in a very simple way I'm also doing this low key because I have to send this off via a dispatch rider and those people, I just want to make sure that it gets to them in good condition you know? This tissue paper has glitter so my thighs are covered with glitter at the moment I think I'm just going to put this in gently right? and then I'll get the last piece like this I'm going to squeeze this one up, right? I think I need to spray just not too much. So, I have a stapler here. I have to staple this. If you're not Nigerian and you're wondering like what I mean by dispatch rider, it's just like a delivery service. There's so many logistics companies and what they will do is they'll just deliver this to whatever address I enter same day, okay? So in about an hour or two, it will get to her. So they just pick up and they drop it off at the location that you select on the app, okay? So final one. Yeah. I think it looks good. I think it looks cute. So tomorrow, I'm going to send this off in the morning. Let me clear this mess on the floor. Um, I've put on my wig, heading out. I'm wearing my Daila Bubu again, okay? I'm wearing this because, bro, like, I really do not want to stress this, this evening. And I also want to eat without being worried. So yeah, Bubu with flats. Let's go. Okay guys, I just finished filming a video, but I am rushing out now because Jola has an event for 4 to 6 p.m. Jola and FK. I just want to touch in there really quickly and come back. I want to change out of this to a dress. I think I just want to wear flats, like a short dress I have and a jacket with flats and go there. It's not very far from me, I think and i'll be right back i just had flowers delivered by the way i'm so excited but i can't transfer them into a vase before i leave i'll have to do that when i come back but let me show you guys my flowers because they're really really cute <laughs> okay so here is my bouquet these roses guys can you see like oh it's not focusing yeah these pink roses with these white like i don't even know what they are called i have to google them but they are so pretty so pretty i don't even think i've seen roses like this up close they're so beautiful at first i wasn't sure like because it was no card but then my partner called and said he was the one that sent them they are so gorgeous so i'm going to attend to this once i come back from the i said what i said event i'm wearing this dress it has a cutout and then a tie like i cannot even talk okay it's just cute with my bag like I said, I'm just going to be in and out, not going to... Oh, my face. Oh, this makeup is giving. But guys, yeah. 
I'm leaving. Okay. Okay. Super cash. Not gonna take too long. Yeah, I'm sure because the criminal. <laughs> yeah, so what do you have to say for that? Exactly. Love everybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean like there's love and then there is faithfulness, I think. To get to find that then, you know, you're one of the luckiest people on earth. Because me I still find. But um but if you don't don't want to get my advice, yeah, use protection. Yeah. <laughs> I have very different advice. Oh, yeah. I think you should put all the women he loves in your group chat. Ah. See, yeah. our stars, superstars, yeah. they were asking them today how they handle yeah. fame. And Jola was chatting yeah. shit. No, we only fame. They look so Girl. good. Look, look at this. I want this. This, I need it. <laughs> Okay guys, I am back. Let's put this in way, okay? Have my face here. so gorgeous i love the fact that water is really getting to it this arrangement smells so beautiful by the way and i think it's because of the tulips like they always smell good like the whole living room smells good always smells good ah do you know this is my first time seeing it in real oh look at my ring by the way oh my it's gosh. not doing anything here but look at we're with mars mars is hosting us mars yes, told us I to am. come and we're here and, and i come you. she said the and oh wow love it Boys and girls, good morning. It's Monday morning. I'm rushing off because I have a studio session with Jola and FK. I don't have any makeup on. I did not even have enough clothes. Listen, when I left the house on Friday, I didn't know I was going to be doing this. Sorry, guys. We're kind of a bit lost and we're using Google Maps. That's why you guys are hearing the lady talking on the radio. But Jola asked me last night. I was like, yeah, baby, I'm going to come through for you. You know, <laughs> I'm almost there. Probably going to do some q &A sessions. I haven't shot with them since last year. So I'm really excited about this one. Oh, yeah. Boys and girls, brand new week morning. I was like, excuse me, I would never. And we'll also body. check about being between. A proper so body. I love the way she just pulled down the glasses. You, oh my God, <laughs> no, this girl. Okay, guys, I just um, got to the house. The episode went really well. My hair is just a mess on top. But anyways, the episode went really well and I got flowers. This was actually de de delivered. I, I cannot speak English. And this started from when I was in the podcast. <laughs> but um, this was delivered by a brand. Oh, I'm just going to drop this flower on this chair here. It's from a brand called Ajaye, right? And it says... Dima, welcome to Ajaye, where beauty is joy, and co joy, confidence, and the pursuit of life, a life well lived. Love team Ajaye, congratulations on your engagement, wishing you a lifetime filled with love and joy. This is so sweet. I have gotten flowers this week already. I already showed you guys. So this is the bouquet. You guys saw me putting this away. I need to change the water, by the way, because I haven't changed the water in about two days. This is my second bouquet this week, and I think that it's really, really gorgeous. It's also a really big bouquet, and there are tulips and just a lot of like really, really lovely flowers in here. I already have a bouquet here. The tulips here have also finished opening up. There are still some that have not opened up yet. But this is a very gorgeous bouquet. I think it's doing fairly well. I'm going to try and see if I can get like a like a big another big vase to put this away in. But let's do a quick unboxing of this, okay? So I'm gonna move the card. This is such a thoughtful gift with a nice bouquet that says congratulations, okay? So this is their new velvet body oil. I already saw this on their page. This packaging is mad. 
I love the fact that it has a very matte, considering that it's oil in it, it's matte and it's luscious and it's beautiful. There's a card in here as well. Guys, the box, the packaging, everything. It says in your skin, enjoy life. I love the orange detailing in the box. And there's just a card here. It looks so good. What the scent? Oof. Yeah, this is my vibe. Rose and bergamot is the scent you get with this, but guys, it all it smells a bit almost like some rose oud oils that I really like. Yeah, this smells so good. I just love the overall packaging, like Nigerian brands are showing up and showing out. This is beautiful. Thank you, Ajay, for my bouquet. Thank you for the little card that says congratulations. Ah, thank you so much. Let me pack this up. I'm going to take it upstairs. I am trying. Guys, I haven't, you guys know, like, I cook every other vlog. I don't think I've cooked in the last three vlogs or so, but I used to cook, like, or bake something every vlog. And I've just kind of taken a break from all of that because, first of all, I came back from Ghana not feeling too well. There was that. And because of that, like, when you're not feeling too well, you don't have the energy to cook. But I've kind of moved on to that now to just, I want to be more effective counting my calories and stuff like that. So I'm using this, this brand that Thai um thai or foodie in lagos my friend recommended to me because she uses them right and before i recommend actually when it, anything that comes like body care and food i like to try them out for a while and then if i'm really really happy then i would recommend them and say okay these these people are good but basically they deliver my meals so i just do lunch and dinner they deliver it's the good thing that i like about them though is that with every single plate they will tell you the amount of calories one in each plate the, um, the total grams of carbohydrates, the total grams of protein. I don't also know if they also do fiber, but they tell you how many grams of all these things you get in one. I think it's very, very good if you're trying to be conscious like with what you're eating. And so far, I've not really had any very bad meal. And there's just variety because I think it's just two days ago because I don't eat their food weekends. So I do like Monday to Friday because I know that the probability that I'll eat cheap meals on the weekend is high. Like dinner last Friday was a seafood boil. Like everything tastes so good. You can also tell that the food is not greasy. So they're not using the average type of oil that you get in Nigerian meals. I really love that. So if I really like their service and I'd highly recommend them. But this oil, I love the fact that it's also not heavy, but this smells really good. It almost smells like rose and berries. The most plain basic type of explanation I would give for the way that this smells. And in a very, very good way. So, yeah. What I'm going to do is... Now is that I'm actually going to take a nap because I feel like I have to. Yeah. I'll take a nap and then I think I'll wake up refreshed in like a few hours and then just dive into all the work that I have to do. Guys, these jeans have come out to play again. I have some errands to run. I think I'm going to end everything by going to the grocery store to pick up some items, but my wig, my t-shirt, they just brought light. Guys, we've been waiting for light since, and my tote bag. So off to run errands. Hey guys, do I have a breakout here? Why do I feel like I have a breakout? But there's no breakout. Hi guys, I'm going to round the vlog up here and the package was just delivered. This is a PR package from Pixie and I wanted to unbox it quickly. I think I'm going to turn off the AC, hold on. This AC works great, but then I know that it can be very loud. To the point that I personally don't like it. I know that some of you don't mind, but I find it very distracting and that's why I try as much as possible to turn it off. So this package was just delivered. Why do I feel like this is probably the glow tonic? I haven't received glow tonic from Pixie in a while, but this is gorgeous. It says, glow on gorgeous your light is a gift to the world pixie that's so sweet i knew it guys i knew it like i just knew it that this is the glow tonic this is their iconic product this is the toner of all toners it's amazing and once i am out of my current toner the one that i'm using i'm going back to this 
this is just beautiful okay and as far as glycolic glycolic acid toners go this one is really great i'm trying to see if i can take this out it's very heavy just so that you guys okay i've put the whole thing out right it says dim mass glow tonic thank you pixie so this is one of the best glycolic acid toners in the world it is very very popular for a reason so I'm going back to using this once I'm out of my current like toner, the one that I'm using. This vlog was really special. Like I met up from the beginning of it. I was just meeting up with friends and loved ones after I came back to Lagos. A lot of them wanted to see me, you know, like I vlogged some. A lot of it I actually didn't vlog because those are not people that I just like, you know, share on my channel. But hold on one second, I'm trying to adjust this. But like it was so sweet. Like I remember everybody's reaction when I saw them the first time. I remember Jola screaming and telling me to show my hands. I remember Kendi's reaction. I remember Mazino's reaction. I remember Ozo's reaction. It was also so sweet and it was it's just such a beautiful vlog to me. I didn't show some of this reaction in real time. Like when your loved ones are just happy, like I just love seeing them happy. Like all the excitement, I didn't actually capture it. I feel like it was just such a personal thing that when they were just acting up, like I just didn't have a camera around it to their face like but it was so sweet and <sighs> I loved it I really really loved it I had other plans for this vlog I was even supposed to like do a date night guinea con this evening but mother nature has visited and it's really <laughs> The beginning from just like it is for a lot of people because i tend to talk about stuff like this on twitter sometimes i know that the first day can be so what i just want to do is to sleep basically yeah i had a video going up today so i just want to have that up and then click publish by around 6 30 and also do some admin that's mostly what i'll be doing today but so all most of my work today will be like computer related work and not work that requires a lot of physical activity but this vlog is not as long as the other ones more recent ones have been and it's just because i feel like i'm rounding it up kind of early which is also fine i'm happy with the events that i have shown so far i'll see you guys again next week by the grace of god hopefully next week is really going to be exciting because i have some exciting things coming up i know that you guys saw me go to my yesterday like stepping in and stepping out because this video would go up before the fashion show on tuesday i didn't want to show you guys like that collection like it's just like a spoiler they do get so this vlog is going up on sunday i tried on i have my outfit is ready i'm going to do a final fitting for it tomorrow and that final fitting i will not vlog because it will go up after the fashion show or after they unveil this collection but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this one give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed i love you guys and i'll see you in my i'm just tired guys that's that's what it is i'm feeling woogie wag but i'll see you guys in the next one kisses